So first question, how did you get into the software development? My guess is you had a problem that needed fixing. Well, you're a very smart wizard. Uh, yeah, I had a problem in scaling my business and it was all over boards and sheets and, and people, right? And, uh, and scaling and like, this is just a mess. How are we going to go into 10 more states like this? And so we started looking at software options um, and there weren't any that did exactly what we did. So we built it and we solved our own problem. And in solving our problem, we audit, we found all these different ways and technology that was out there to automate a whole bunch of stuff we were doing. So we eliminated things like we had a VA running comps on every deal before a salesperson looked at it. We had VAs doing all of the follow-up uh, in between someone saying maybe, not now, et cetera. And we automated all that. So I literally saved like $4,000 a month in overhead by shifting it all to software. And, you know, it took me over a year to do that and build that in tens of thousands of dollars. And then we walked into a private mastermind in a coaching session, shared one of the pieces we automated and the impact it had on our business um, in a huge way, positively. And uh, the whole room was like, so I want that. How do we get it? Like, wait, I don't, I don't, I'm, I built it for me. I don't have an answer to that question. And then obviously that turned into, all right, I guess I'm, I'm going to be in the software business now because there's a massive need and, and, uh, you know, flew out, met some people, hired a mentor <laughs> and uh, launched into the software business several years ago. And it's been a, a big thing for us since then. So give us an overview. Uh, like you made that presentation to your mastermind group and they're like salivating saying, I want that. I want that. I want that. So give us a 30,000 foot view. What different types of tasks, et cetera, does, it, does this software do for us? Yeah. The main thing is keeping you organized, stacking your list and compiling it all in one place. So it's clean and simple. Uh, so you're organized first and foremost, and you know what to do every day. Uh, then the the base core of what made it so sexy back then to everyone is uh, we were the first to start doing tons of automated follow up and changing it based on where the person was in the pipeline. They just contacted you, their lead you spoke with, you made an offer to, right? And so the way the system talked through emails and text messages and voicemails from you or someone on your team and even one off postcards, thank you cards, et cetera, were all automatically and precisely timed to just go out of the system. Um, so that in and of itself was the biggest game changer of the system. And then it automated like, oh, this lead has an appointment. So it assigns it automatically to the person that runs your appointments or it's, you know, we got to go inspect it. It automatically assigns it to the person that's supposed to inspect it so they can go take photos and, and do their job. Um, oh, it's ready to be, it's under contract. It automatically assigns it to the person, you or the person on your team that's responsible for getting it closed. It makes it super simple with a click of a button to do every single thing that you're going to do in your business from marketing to people all the way to closing your deals. And if you're a wholesaler, it even push button markets it out to all your buyers. While at the same time, the automation is really cool about being able to, to continue to foster your relationships with your buyers, your sellers, your private lenders, uh, your agents you may work with, your contractors, et cetera, and gives one place where everything is centralized. So you don't have to log into five different systems, go to 10 different whiteboards, et cetera. So let's say that, um, let's say that the real estate investor, there's a real estate investor listening here to the show and they go, you know, I'm just not tech savvy. Uh, I'm not like a computer kind of guy. So how user friendly is this for someone that isn't used to having all that stuff organized? Yes. Yeah, super user friendly. That was exactly why we designed it the way we did. So there is flexibility and customization capable for the tech friendly guy that wants to go in and play and configure and move stuff around. But we built it so that the day you sign up, there's, everything I just mentioned, it already does all that. You don't go do anything. It literally just has a blinking light. You click the blinking light, which is pretty obvious too. It's a blinking red light. So it stands out. And when you click it, you'll see a big, huge button that says call <laughs> or text. You call your person and then there's a button that asks you, what did you do? 
make an offer? And it literally said, did you make an offer? Do you need to call them back? Did you make an appointment? You click that simple thing and it's all on one screen. You're not changing things. So we made it and we continue to, by the way, take user feedback with the thousands of members we have and continue to refine it. Is there any other way that we can make it even simpler? Can we make it where your 102 year old grandma comes in ready and she doesn't even need to know real estate to, to know how to use the system? <laughs> I got you. So uh, what year did you come out with the software? So we built it for ourselves to solve our problem in 2016, throughout 2016, late 2015, throughout 2016. Um, when we were, we were really getting scaling up and, and I moved. And then 20, January 2017, uh, we went into development full bore for people. And so late, late 2017 is when we started taking on actual uh, users once we finished building it. Awesome.